Hi, thanks for tuning in. Today's topic is underarm deodorant. And some of you may be aware of the toxins that are found in underarm deodorant. There's a lot of chemicals that are unnecessary. A lot are on the top terrible touch me not list. A lot of our, a lot of them are industrial degreasers. Uh, they cause skin separation, all kinds of issues. So any of those commercially available big name deodorants, especially if it's advertised on TV and the newspapers at your favorite store, you want to avoid them because there's ingredients in there that can uh, cause all kinds of health problems. Some of it's linked to Alzheimer's, people will say. It'll cause, you know, if you ever get the stains under your shirt, the yellow stains, things like that. You know, your skin is your body's largest organ. And, you know, if you ever notice when you get sweaty, you start secreting salt out, you can taste it, your cat will like to lick the salt off your body. That's because toxins come out through your skin as well as your other organs that cleanse your body. So we want to avoid all those toxins. We don't want to be putting those in, we want to be getting them out. So since 2004, if you've listened to my other videos, you know about how I've been doing this since 2004. I haven't used any of the harmful ingredients on the terrible touch me not lists. And I avoid anything that goes on my skin that is bad. You know, I use Dr. Bronner's soap. I use a raw apple cider vinegar by Bragg. Uh, now I'm using earth paste, toothpaste. And also I'm doing 100% pure baking soda, tea tree oil, but that's for another video. So uh, since 2004, I started using crystal stick. I don't have one, I've thrown it out. Otherwise I'd show you, but you're, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's kind of, kind of like a uh, pink, kind of pink, light purple, violet colored little plastic container that is a big salt thing. And I've been putting that crystal stick on there. Let me show you a version I got. So I switched from using that because I wasn't sure about it. Cause you gotta be careful. There's a lot of products that will say they're pure, they're good. And if you can search into them, research, you find out they're not. So crystal stick, I switched to this Lace. Now Lace makes a crystal stick too I was using, but I actually talked to this gentleman that has his a facility in Texas where he mails these out of, and he sent me this last June to try. And this is the roll-on. And this is actually the Lace roll-on deodorant and it's gluten-free, paraben-free, platinum glycol-free. But this is like a crystal stick, but it's liquid. Now normally I don't do uh, bad reviews, but I tried this and immediately I broke out. Immediately I started getting really bad rashes. So I stopped using it. But what I've been using with the crystal stick before was, uh, this is Wilderness Family Naturals out of Minnesota. And I met them at a, uh, at a lecture on a farm in, in Wisconsin back in the day when I lived there. So this is a, a roll on that I really like. And it's all natural, coconut oil, beeswax. So I was using this in addition to the crystal stick and I would still smell at the end of the day. It, it wasn't, I needed both of them because the crystal stick and the, that roll-on from Wilderness Family just wasn't good enough. Then I tried this last June, last July, I broke out. Really bad rashes and I've been trying to get rid of it ever since. So I've stopped using all of those. Then recently my nephew uh, told me about something he was using for his eczema. And so I said, hey, I wanna try it. So I ordered some from the company and this is it. It's, it's uh, Moon, Moon Valley Organics Exacom. So this is a really cool company. They have a couple of products I've tried. Here's another one called Herbal Heal. But this is the one I like the best. And this is a cool little company out of Washington. And look at this, they don't use any glue. Look how this just opens up. They got all these neat little sayings on there. This is awesome packaging. So Exacom. So I started using this to get rid of the rash. And uh, even though it says it's for eczema, it has all kinds of really good ingredients in it. It's just all pure herbs, you know, essential oils, all kinds of herbal things in it. Nothing bad whatsoever. So let me show you what, what it looks like. I'm just going to take a little bit, just a little bit. You just rub it on your skin here, wherever you want. Now, when I first started using it underneath my arms, I saw something amazing. Not only did it heal it up, but I didn't smell all day long. And it's hot now. This was, I started earlier in uh, a few months ago when it was cooler out, but now it's uh, the end of May. It's Memorial Day weekend, 2013, and it's hot out. And I've been out in the backyard. This stuff is amazing. I do not smell. This is my deodorant. So I should turn it on, put it around upside right so you can see it. 
So this has cleared up the rash. I had some bumps right here for a long time, and I get one here, get one here. I put this on, and the bumps went away. The first time I tried this right here, these bumps I had, I don't know what they were, they weren't really zits, disappeared. So this by Moon Valley Organics, Exacom. I highly recommend this as a deodorant. I've been using it for a month or two now, at least I think over a month. And I just rub it on my underarms. That's all I do. I get a little bit on and just put it all over my underarms. I do not smell. This is an excellent product. I highly recommend it for getting rid of little, little kind of bumps and uh, I don't smell. End of the day. I mean, I'll drag my arm here and smell and there's nothing. It's this. It may be meant for uh, eczema, but this is my deodorant. So I recommend this. I recommend you research the terrible touch me not list and review what you're putting in your body. Don't use anything harmful. And thank you so much for watching my video. And please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. It's now summertime. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos. Thank you.